Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios, and today I have the newest Premier Club model for you, George. I'm sorry I forgot to do Hamilton. Um, I didn't really forget. I actually planned on doing it, and then I brought the wrong horse with me. I may have a clip of that somewhere that I can insert here. Honestly, I mean... <laughs> April Fools, no I'm just kidding, I grabbed the wrong bag. I didn't even bring... <laughs> Oops. Cool, that was neat. So anyway, we have George, and for those of you who don't know, George is the last Premier Club model of 2019. He is the, I believe it's Russian heavy draft, or like Vladimir heavy draft. I'm sure it'll say on the box, um, because that's probably not correct. Maybe it's Rhinish cold blood. That actually sounds a lot better. Last, last one of the year, and then we have the stable mate. So let's go ahead and get this guy open and see what all the hype is about because everybody's so hyped about this horse. It's been insane. A horse of few numbers but many names, the Rhinish German Draft, also known as the Rhinish German Cold Blood, the Rhineland Heavy Draft, and Rhinish Dwitzes Kotblut. This drafter was developed in Western Germany for working on farms and hauling heavy loads. While once plentiful in their home country, the need for these workhorses was reduced drastically by the availability of vehicles and tractors. The breed is now extremely rare. Artist Bridget Eberl captured the essence of these uncommon horses in her first cold blood sculpture for Briar. Standing about 16 to 17 hands high, this well-muscled draft is accurately depicted with its proportionally small yet well-designed head and gracefully arched neck. Their broad chest and lit, strong legs speak to their history of agricultural work, and George is no exception. With his alert yet calm expression, George gives the impression that he's done it all and is the steady partner any horseman would be proud to call their own. George's original coat color was created by artist Summer Prosser. A lifelong horse lover and artist, Summer's hobby of painting models turned into a full-time career. While bay may not seem like the most exciting color, Summer added a new depth to the hue by taking this breed's job, his breed's job into color into consideration. She explains, I love how bays come in so many shades, from a pale near buckskin color to almost black, and every shade of brown in between. I added a bit of sunburnt effect to the edges of the mane for even more interest, something you wouldn't see on show horses that are always kept sheltered inside a stall. Now, I love the little comment about like, this is this is Bridget's first cold blood sculpture for Briar, because while technically true, it is not a Briar exclusive sculpt in a lot of ways. Um, I may be able to throw up an image of Valentine. Um, so Bridget has done as we've seen with like the weather girl and some other molds before this um this is simply an edited version of valentine which i have no problem with because it's definitely more affordable than if you were to go buy one of bridget's resins which run anywhere between like three and five hundred dollars blank um, so to me like this is an extremely affordable way to get these high quality sculptures into um the regular run line uh, Stone has done the same thing with very similar horses, such as uh, Mini Wahoo, which is the rearing pebble, but tweaked, and others like that. So I, I personally, I don't mind that trend. Let's get him open. So they've started to do dapples on this guy in a little bit different way, as opposed to like the fish scaly dapples that most models of theirs seem to have. Ooh, with this. Yep, see away. And wow! They finally updated horse scene! They didn't take out anything that was retired. So that's neat, because we already have the 2019 retired list and they're all still in this. So this is not current. Cool, Briar. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just interested to see like what kind of a variation we got as far as like the coat color, because I've seen people with really, really light ones and also really, really dark ones. And some of them, the dapples are weird and some of them, the dapples are like perfect. There's been so much hype around this horse that before, and this is weird, this is really weird to me, that before this model came out, like, like way before actually people were able to start ordering, 
Um, apparently it was up on eBay for like 500 bucks. And that seems really wrong to me. That's like a scalper's fee. So I'm, it's really odd that you would put something like this, which is definitely gonna be readily available to like everybody at some point, up for that much money. He is large, he's large. Well, we got a dark one, that's for sure. I really, I really like the way they did this guy. Okay, dapples are nice, got nice dapples. How's his face? Whoa, look at that face. That's a bean right there. Okay, he's he's really cool. I can definitely see the hype behind this. Um, he's got a couple little little flaws, but they're like little like plasticky, like in the plastic flaws. Um, nothing with the paint job. His paint job is like stunning. Like, look at the dapples on this. This is awesome. These are some of the best dapples I think Briar's ever done. Uh, definitely, actually really on par with like auction model dapples um personally in my opinion do a little turnaround you can see he's got that mealiness going on here and then he's even got the mealiness in in this area and and his flanks and then i can definitely see what summer was talking about where his mane has those sunburnt edges to it and even his even his ears do as well and some other areas of his coat um, there's like a lot of paint layers to this horse like like as someone who paints I can just I can tell because you would start off with this lightest of light colors this sort of like nice yellowy peach and then it looks like we've got like a red in here that they probably did multiple coats of in different areas and then went back with a darker brown and then shaded black on top of that and I'm really curious as to how they actually did those dapples um, because it looks to me like a very similar technique to what stone does sometimes, which is um, where you actually like take, because these are, these are all like acetone based paint, acetone based plastic, is they would take a little Q-tip with acetone and daub off the top layer to reveal the color underneath. I'm wondering if that's what they did or if they just like drew them on um, because the fish scaled apples that we typically see, that's definitely a stencil. Or it's someone going like this, you know, with the, with the airbrush. I, I, I want to say that they probably took a little bit more care with this and actually drew the dapples on. I'm really happy though that the dapples don't look like this. I'll, you can probably see, see how like yellow they are in that. Can I get no, that? Don't. There you go. See how yellow they are? Like, I'm really glad they don't stand out as much, that they did get blended in as well as they did on this model. So, I really like this guy. I don't know if this is one that I'm gonna be like conga-ing, but I definitely wanna paint some. I, I think he's really neat. And you know what I'm happy for? I'm just happy that we finally have a draft horse that's compact and is not a shelf hog. So that's it for me, Pony Pals, and this is Georges, um, the last of the Briar 2019 Premier Club horses. We're really looking forward to 2020. Um, I'm gonna pop a little poll up in the corner. I still can't remember what corner, I think it's that one. Um, pop a little poll up in the corner about what was your favorite Premier Club model of the year. All right, Pony Pals, I will see you in the next video. Bye.